California is just pretty much guaranteed there will be three times as many electric fast chargers in the state in less than two years time than there are gasoline pumps. This is insane. This is epic. This is what I call game changing. This is a big game changer for California. Now, California is about to overtake both Germany and Japan, which means it will be the world's third largest economy. Crazy. How is that even possible? But it still needs, well, it needs one thing. But it's just said it's going to invest an incredible $3 billion on 90,000 new electric vehicle chargers in the state. This is a game changer for electric cars. Electric car adoption will skyrocket as a result. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. My name's Sam Evans. I'm coming to you from Melbourne in Australia. Thank you for tuning in. And it's great to see you all on this amazing day on planet Earth. Now, California has approved $3 billion in spending. It's going to be just to double the number of electric vehicle chargers in the state. This is going to result in 90,000 new EV chargers for a total of over 180,000 electric car chargers in the state. That's going to be insane. The California Energy Commission on Wednesday approved a $2.9 billion investment plan to accelerate the state's 2025 electric vehicle charging and hydrogen refueling goals. Now, I've got to say, what are they doing still investing in hydrogen? I mean, come on, look at the sales of hydrogen vehicles in the US. They've collapsed. It's, they're basically dead. They've gone down so low that they actually would be categorized as being dead or extinct, virtually extinct. If it was an animal, if hydrogen was an actual animal, it would be literally on the absolute verge of extinction in the United States. So I don't know why California keeps on investing literally hundreds and hundreds of millions into it. If you're a Californian resident, please send me an email. I mean, what is going on there? It doesn't make any sense. That said, hey, I can't complain too much because I'm stoked to see all these new electric vehicle chargers in California. When I come and visit you guys in October next year, I'm going to go and charge my vehicle at all these chargers. Imagine how long would it actually take to charge at all of them, all 160,000? I don't know if it would be possible to do in your lifetime. Well, Combined with funding from utilities and other programs, these investments are expected to ensure the state achieves its goal to deploy 250,000 chargers by 2025. That's insane. Imagine how many more chargers there will be versus gasoline pumps in 2025. Now, interesting you asked that question. <laughs> I'm sure you didn't, but anyhow. Which is the state in the US with the most gas pumps or the most gasoline stations? It's well and truly California. In fact, there's a total of 10,423 gas stations in California. Now, my prediction is by 2030, that number will have halved. I'm serious. It will have halved. Because think about it. There's going to be at least 300,000 electric chargers, fast chargers, in California by 2030. And we're looking at 250,000 in 2025. That'll mean, right, that even if these 10,423 gasoline stations, even if each of them had, say, 10 pumps each, that's only 100,000 pumps maximum. That's like being generous in the whole of California, 100,000 pumps. So in other words, by 2025, there'll be two and a half times as many fast chargers as there are gasoline pumps in California. That's awesome. That's the electric revolution right there. The plan will increase access to charging and hydrogen fueling for individuals, businesses, and public agencies while supporting our emerging manufacturing ecosystem and creating jobs, CEC's lead commissioner for transportation, Patty Monaghan, said in a statement. In September, the U.S. Transportation Department approved the electric vehicle charging station plans for all 50 states, Washington and Puerto Rico covering about 75,000 miles of highways. The one trillion infrastructure bill provides five billion dollars to help states install EV chargers along interstate highways over five years. States now have access to more than 1.5 billion to help build EV chargers. Now, of course, the Californian government itself 
is also going to invest a lot of that money. The White House has approved 35 of the 50 state plans it had announced earlier this year. California in August moved to require all new vehicles sold in the state by 2035 to be either electric or plug-in electric hybrids. Now that's going to further put downwards pressure on the number of gas stations, right? There's not going to be a lot of demand for gas in 2035. I really don't think there will be. I think people are going to transition pretty quickly from, you know, old junky gasoline beat up boxes to new modern electric cars, which you know, don't actually need catalytic converters. They don't need all this new technology to try and prevent them from killing us all with cancer. Now, California is well and truly leading the way when it comes to electric vehicle adoption in the United States. More than 50% of all electric cars currently in the US are residing in the state of California. That, my friends, is leading from the front. I'm actually very impressed with that result. Hopefully, we can follow that. We can follow that lead here in Australia. Let's get to it, government. Let's get to it. All you agencies, let's get to it, Tesla, let's get to it. I want to see electric chargers everywhere. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.